Good morning, Vinyl community. We have the Leonard Skinner playing. Um, trying to pet me up this morning. I had kind of a crazy day yesterday, and this is actually a, a re-record of of the video um, that I recorded last night, and I realized that it was just it was rambling, and I went on for 22 minutes. Um, when it was supposed to be basically a Vinyl Finds video. Um, yeah, but to make a very long story short, which I'll actually cover more in another video, because it, um, ah, because it, it relates to this basically, um, I decided to, to dip my toes into the cassette community. So I'm, I'm on the lookout for um, a tape deck. Inexpensive. Um, <clears throat> so I, I did pick up uh, like eight tapes um, at my first stop, which was uh, the Mary S. Roberts Pit Adoption Center Thrift Shop. <laughs> um, their efforts support um, the the uh, animal shelter, so um, I, I love shopping there as a, as a result because, you know, it's a win-win situation. Or win-win-win if you, yeah, it's just a winning situation for everyone involved. <laughs> so um, I, <clears throat> I did buy some, some uh, cassettes there, uh, I got about eight of them. And fortunately, they were having a, a half-off sale, so the the cassettes were 25 cents each. They ended up being 12.5 cents each, so I spent a buck on them. So the fact that I don't have a tape deck right now isn't a big deal. Anyway, I of course I had to look in their vinyl section. So um, I I had recently been there, and they don't have a, a fast turnover of, of vinyl there. Not like Goodwill, um, so I was surprised I found anything really. Um, I almost picked up a second copy of um, Randy Newman's um, uh, I, I think it's just called Criminals. Um, yeah, something Criminals, anyway. Um, I, I was going to pick that up, but I think the copy I have is in better condition, and I was thinking, well, because I would possibly get it as VCLT, but I don't know for who, because I never see Randy Newman mentioned in the vinyl community, so, um, so I decided not to get it, even though it would have just been a buck, but I already have a, a good copy, and I'm happy with that. So. But I did find, so I put that one back, and I did find a couple others. Um, this first one um, is one of those deals where it's still sealed, um, has a, a beautiful woman on the cover. <laughs> um, yeah. Basically, you know, whenever I see a sealed one, I'm always tempted. But then I kind of look at it and, um, you know, consider it further. In this case, I also brought up some of her music. I couldn't find this album, but I brought up some of her other music on uh, Mog, um, and I liked it, so I'm going to give it a shot. It's uh, Thelma Houston, The Devil in Me, so I'm going to give that one a shot. Now this one, I'm very happy to find, because as you, as you may or may not know, one thing I'm trying to add to my collection is um, non-music. So like, um, yeah, you'll see. Here's Johnny, Magic Moments from The Tonight Show, a dollar ninety-nine. No, actually a dollar, a dollar for this, and a dollar for that last one as well, because they were half off. They're usually two dollars there, I guess. I was very excited to find this. Um, it is two D 
discs. Plus the poster. Um, the poster originally wasn't in the wasn't in the box. Yeah, the poster. I'm not gonna bother opening it. <clears throat> the poster wasn't originally in the box, um, but I saw it there and I was like, okay, well that looks like it goes with that. <laughs> so I put it inside. <laughs> I don't know if they were trying to sell it separate, but I, it, probably just a customer took it out and left it out. But yeah, it it looks it looks really good. Very excited to add this to my collection. Yes, it's kind of funny because at the time, I wasn't. I mean, that, that's probably even before me, basically. But <laughs> at the um, when he was on the Tonight Show, I wasn't. I wasn't really into it. My my older brothers were more into those late night talk shows. Um, at the time, I I found them kind of boring. <laughs> As I grew older, I, I learned to appreciate, especially Johnny Carson. He was a genius, a comic genius. Yes, so that was my first stop. Um, just picked up a couple there. Um, the next stop, um, I, so I headed to um, Savers, where I had seen a double tape deck. Um, again, long story short, it didn't pan out because the the tape deck was specific to a, a particular stereo system made by Sony. Uh, I'm not sure of the technology involved, but it was very disappointing. So I can see why they were selling it for $6.99 now. So I was so disappointed, but again, I, I looked through... Madeline, leave it! I looked through the vinyl section. And I, I did manage uh, to find a couple. Again, I had been there very, very recently. So, yeah, I had already picked out the good stuff. Um, and you'll remember that from, I think, my last video that someone had, like, taken, like, two-thirds of their selection. <laughs> and yet I managed to find a couple more items. And again, this is in the same vein of of um, non-music. And these, oh, I'm so excited about these. Let me tell you that. Golden Days of Radio. Um, let's see. <laughs> it says, Radio Fair, a slice of life frosted with fantasy and glamour. Let's see, this one has uh, Radio Adventure and Mystery Drama, Jack Armstrong, All-American Boy, The Lone Ranger, Terry and the Pirates, Famous Mystery Trials, Dangerous Assignment, Mr. Keen, Tracer of Lost Persons, Gangbusters, The Shadow. Side B is First Presidential Election Broadcast Returns. Interesting. Uh, President Coolidge and Charles Lindbergh Before Congress. Billy Sunday Opposes a Repeal of Prohibition. FDR is inaugurated, Adolf Hitler, Edwin C. Hill, uh, the greatest eyewitness report in history, oh, that's very exciting, the Von Hindenburg crashes in flames, that, that's classic, classic radio audio there, um, radio audio, I guess that's redundant, isn't it, that's classic radio there, <laughs> oh wow, I, when I bought this I didn't see that was on there, that. I'm very excited about because wow all right and then along that same vein the years to remember the most dramatic and important newscasts in radio history exactly as you heard them when they changed the course of uh, the course of human events so there's that and radio ports uh, World War II And the march toward World War II. And it appears to have some sports related broadcasts as well. Very excited about those. Um, I think listening to that on vinyl is going to like transport me back, like, before, well before I was born. <laughs> Pardon me. 
Okay, so that was my my second stop. And again, I was really disappointed that I couldn't find that um, tape deck. Or I found the tape deck, but I, it wasn't going to work out. So, <sighs> so I headed to the, the Goodwill uh, that is near me. And <clears throat> I did find another tape deck there, and I'm still kind of considering it, but it's way more than I want to spend. It, they have a, a dual tape deck, I forget the brand, I want to say Kenwood, but I'm probably entirely wrong on that. Um, and it, it's a, a dual tape deck for $20. It appears to be functioning and everything, so... Uh, but that, yeah... I mean, I, I was kind of willing to get in cassettes if I could get a cheap player for like $6.99, but $20, I don't know. I, I need to consider. Um, <clears throat> but, again, the vinyl section, and they had just recently, like moments ago, put new stuff out, so I was very excited. However, apparently Goodwill thinks they're a record store now. <laughs> And a lot of the new stuff that they put out was priced at either $5.99 or $3.99. And I was like, come on, this is... This is Goodwill. What? <laughs> pricing... Pricing a record that's in, you know... Questionable condition... At $5.99, that is not Goodwill. <laughs> um, yeah. So, someone back there thinks thinks they know what they're doing a little too much, and they're trying to price accordingly to popularity, and um, so I was very disappointed about it. I thought about making a comment to them about the high prices on those, because honestly, I could probably go to Groover's, uh, the record store that's on the other side of town, and probably pick those up for like three or four bucks probably four bucks, um, in better condition, because <laughs> honestly, I did look at some of them, uh, I had pulled out some, like, uh, there's some Dokken, some Great White, some Willie Nelson, uh, some Joni Mitchell, a bunch of good stuff, a bunch of good stuff, and I, yeah, I pulled some out, and I was like, well, okay, well, We'll see what the condition is, and I'll pick and choose. Given the condition they were in, they were not worth that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm very excited because I did manage to find three that were priced at the actual, um, the actual regular uh, goodwill price, which is a dollar ninety-nine. So, I am very, very excited to add these to my collection. Uh, I got three of them there. Uh, so this is two Lefty from Willie. And I don't know if they didn't recognize that it was Willie Nelson, because all the other Willie Nelson albums were priced at $5.99. Uh, but it says Willie Nelson right there. <laughs> but it's long-awaited tribute to his friend Lefty Frizzell. I'm very excited about that. Not familiar with Lefty Frizzell, but um, I'm sure it's great. <laughs> it's a nice looking album, too. Now, this one, I did manage to find a Joni Mitchell um, Clouds for $1.99. Gotta get gold there. Nice artwork on the cover. Um, I <laughs> when I was filming this last night, um, I, I, lo I looked at it and I was like, is that a, a band-aid on her face? But I looked at oh, it's the price sticker. <laughs> I had a long day yesterday was driving back and forth across town trying to find a tape deck. So I'm excited to add that one. <clears throat> and then, this one I'm very, very excited about. U2, The Unforgettable Fire. And these are, these are in good condition. You know, you have some, some tears on the back there. But again, this is going into my personal collection, so I'm not I'm not really worried about the 
about the sleeves, the outer sleeves. Um, very excited about this. I'm a big YouTube fan. Okay, so that was that stop. I I opted not to get the twenty dollar tape deck, um, and I decided to rush over to the other Goodwill on the other side of town. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was like back and forth across, like it seemed like all day, but um, really there were just four stops, but it seemed like a lot more than that. Um, they, ha they had um, kind of a combo unit that I very briefly considered, um, <clears throat> but it was really more than I needed because it was, it was an old one. Uh, I, I couldn't even see a brand on it, but it was an old one, uh, I'm guessing from the late 70s, early 80s. Um, it had dual tape decks, it didn't have an 8-track, so that wouldn't put it definitely in the 70s. Um, uh, so it had the dual tape deck, a radio, and a turntable, and it was $14.99 which tempted me, um, and I probably would have got it, even though it's, it's kind of redundant, and I'm not sure where I, where I would put it. <laughs> um, but when I was testing it, one of the tape decks didn't work. So, uh, yeah, I was like, well, if both had worked, I probably would have gone for it, but, but again, I went to the vinyl section, and it looked at it like it, it had been picked over, and yet I managed to find some really good stuff. <laughs> By the way, how are you enjoying um, uh, Leonard Skinner? I'm much, making much better time on this video. Um, I feel like under 20 minutes is, is you know, manageable for people to watch, um, but that last one was pushing 23 minutes, that's just too much. But anyway, <clears throat> one area, alright, so I, I decided not to get that um, combo unit there, but of course I checked out the vinyl, and um, one of the areas I'm trying to expand into is international music, or at least music with an international flair. Um, so with that being said, we have a bit of Ireland, arranged and conducted by Jerry Fielding. Um, some people think my heritage is from Ireland, it's not though. Um, my heritage is actually most likely from Scotland. Um, yeah, so there's that. I'm very excited to add that and very, very good condition. <clears throat> this one's not in as good condition, but Songs and Sounds of the Orient. Oh man, that's going to be good. That's the gate pool too. Oh, a little, even a little booklet. It's basically just text in there. Then I got one area where my music is lacking is like rockin' guitars. Rockin' guitars. So the next couple ones kind of fill that gap. The first one is Vinnie Moore. And I, st I still cannot remember. Uh, even last night, I was I was trying to remember. I know his name, Vinnie Moore. Uh, this is Vinnie Moore Time Odyssey. Um, I know his name, but it's like, okay, what band was he in? <laughs> I w I wanted to say I don't know. I just don't know. All right, so that that was that one. Ingwie Malmsteen's Rising Force Odyssey. Then, in a, on a different, actually I'll do this one, um, again, kind of, I, I'm not all that familiar with um, Johnny Winter, but pick, pick that up, uh, Serious Business, it's kind of scary in that picture, Aldi Miola, um, oh, Aldi Miola Project, Tirami Su. Not tiramisu, but <laughs> so there's that one. And I'm picking up my pace here because I realize I'm at the 20-minute mark. <laughs> and the last one, 
Pat Metheny group, still alive talking. I love him. So, I mean, I I didn't find my I didn't find my tape deck, but I found a bunch of records, and yeah. <laughs> so that's a pretty good haul. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.